You need to let a man that wanna be be a man. It's me trying to make sure that I'm in focus today because I'm not playing with the girls. Let me see. Do I need to come forward? I think I'm like all the way focused. What? Get out. Is it when I start? I don't know. I'm not blurred. This money, you know I get it, you know I'm straight. Hey, put the zoop, put the put the put the down. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog. We have a bit of a to-do list today. Nothing too cray cray, but on the agenda, one the first thing on my agenda was to go to the gym, but I already got that done. I need to go to the Amazon drop off because I want to return the pillows that I bought for my bed because they just weren't what I was expecting them to be. Ooh, I'm really not enjoying this coffee. I'm so much not enjoying this coffee that I might actually waste it. And I'm so big on not wasting stuff, but I really don't like it. Quick trip to expensive ass Publix. I got a sandwich to have, some fruits, some yogurt, and I got some tomato because I wanted to have a salmon salad, but I don't know if we're gonna have it today or tomorrow. Some broccoli, and I got some wine in it. This should be about a buck fifty. I don't know how I'm gonna get my shit to get back focused right because it's like not like I've never it's not like I've never done it before <clears throat> so I feel like I look a little focused so good morning guys happy Thursday I don't know why they have the kids going back to school on a Thursday but we are on our way to take pop to school and um you know how in the last vlog I told y'all that pop had two Assange in his days I confused the days so I thought it was Monday and Tuesday but it was actually Tuesday and Wednesday so I ended up having him out of school Monday and then he was out of school Monday by accident and then he was out of school Tuesday and Wednesday so he's been out of school for three days and I was feeling so guilty about it I'm just like oh my freaking goodness like I don't know you know <sighs> Mom guilt be eating me up. Please release me from the shackles. I be feeling guilty about everything. Like, I'm like, oh my God, a whole day of learning he missed, a whole day of interacting with his friends. Like, I just felt really, really guilty about it, but it was a mistake. So today, so after we drop pop off, I'm thinking about stopping by Walmart real quick. There's like a little Walmart, not the super centers. Like, the super centers, the big, big Walmarts, the closest ones, like 30 minutes out from from my crib but there's a smaller Walmart and I'm thinking about going there because I need to get some of my cookie butter creamer because the Publix that I went to the other day did not have it and then they had that nasty ass Starbucks coffee that I really don't like like I was not enjoying my coffee because of that and I was like I had a feeling I wasn't gonna enjoy it but then I was like, it's just, it's coffee. You know what I mean? It's black coffee. Like, what's the worst that it could be? Um, and guys, I didn't like it. So, I was using my pumpkin spice creamer. So, I think I'm going to try and see if they have my cookie butter creamer. And I got the Starbucks coffee because they didn't have the Stoke. I think it's called Stoke. They didn't have the Stoke one that I get. So, I was like, let me just try the Starbucks one. I don't know if it's because it's medium roast. But I feel like my stoke might be too. I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel like maybe if I get my cookie butter creamer, I might like it better. So when we drop pop off, I'm going to just run over there real quick and see if they have my cookie butter creamer. And on the agenda today is 
to go to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym by my crib. And then I was thinking about, ooh, I was thinking about editing in the amenity room. Cause y'all know I'm always trying to find places to edit and I'm like venturing out and I'm still open to finding like coffee shops and stuff like that to edit. But I'm like, girl, you could edit at your crib. I realized that the other day, I was like, why don't I go to the amenity room? Is this my turn? Yeah, this is my turn. So we'll probably do that today. And I need to apply for jobs, y'all. I am to the point now where I'm just like, okay, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. Like, I need to get back to work for real. Because me not working like this is just not, it's not working for me. And I'm so used to working like, yeah, I know when I was in Jersey, I was working. I would do my doubles once a month. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I got so used to that. And I feel like it's starting to like wear on me a little bit that I'm not working. So I really, really need to find work. But I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around like, the possibility of probably having to finally do something different with work because what I was doing in Jersey I mean I could find it here but the easier way for me to find that type of work here there's obviously like a way lower pay rate because the cost of living is different you're gonna you oh shit okay it got blurry so I don't know where it got blurry but I'm back so yeah the cost of living is different here so that's just you know I have to wrap my head around with it let's see if they got this creamer the best time to come to this Walmart is super early. The line be so packed. Like, should I grab a Celsius? <sighs> All right, let's see, let's see. And yes, they have it. This is the goal. I really wish we could find that Rice Krispie Treat creamer, but I'm so clear where I don't even think I would like it. So this is the Stoke coffee that I usually get. Bold and smooth, unsweet, and this is actually not even the one that I had to get from Publix. I got medium roast unsweet. And I'm not liking it, but let's see if we like it with the cookie butter creamer instead of the pumpkin spice. Mm. Two eighteen. And remember it was fucking four nineteen at that store nearby. Hey y'all, so clearly we back at the crib and I never do this but I just poured my Celsius over ice because clearly it was sitting warm at the Walmart and I just prefer to drink these like really cold so that's why I just put it over ice. Slowly sip this and we about to make some breakfast and I don't know if I've already said it but um, a little tidbit that I came up with for drinking Celsius is not drinking the whole entire can if it's not in me to do it. So, um, I have mentioned before, sometimes I feel like they make me a little anxious and jittery. So that's why they're perfect for the gym. But then in the same breath, it's like, if you already got your energy boost, you don't really need to drink the whole can. So there's still a little bit in here. And if I feel fine by the time I'm done with this, that's all I drink. I started doing that like more as of recent, like I would drink it on my way to the gym. And once I started working out, if I was in it, I was in it. Like, I don't care if there's some left, I'll just throw it out. So that's a little tidbit. So for breakfast, I was thinking a yogurt bowl and turkey bacon or a BLT, but I think I'm going to just do a uh, turkey BLT. Baby, I can't bring it, touch my body. I'm going to use my, um, y'all know I used to use a 647 bread, which I would still use it, but they just haven't had any. My breads be lasting so long because I don't use bread a lot. So anytime y'all see me using bread, it's usually always, if I'm at home cooking, it's always my low calorie bread. This is just the salt. The delightful brand by Sara Lee and I told you I freeze it so I just need to let two pieces defrost oh crap so we got the bread here I'm gonna sit it up here on this thing and let it defrost so we got some romaine lettuce we got the turkey bacon yeah when it comes to turkey bacon I really prefer cured turkey bacon like the thicker cut I actually have some in the freezer but because this is what we have on hand this is what we're gonna use well because this is what's because this is what's defrosted, this is what we're going to use. And then I have grape tomatoes, which the, you know, like the the thicker tomatoes. I don't know what they're called. That's better for sandwiches. 
for the slicing part but i actually like the taste of these better so i'm gonna just cut up a few of these open them up so that will be our breakfast before we go to the gym and then later for lunch or dinner or maybe both we'll have some salad i seasoned the salmon yesterday i told y'all did I tell you I wanted that? I don't be knowing what the days be, y'all. I don't be fucking knowing. So, but we'll have a salmon salad later. And I'll probably make me a coffee before we go edit. So, we're going to go out, go to the gym, come back, shower, then go back to the amenity room to edit. And I'll take a coffee with me then. And I'll probably be hungry, but I'm going to just let my coffee curb my appetite because I'm not trying to be eating it like that. Put this bacon on. We bought the. I was just watching Aaliyah's vlog. Aaliyah, my friend Aaliyah, because y'all know I watch Aaliyah's face. I watch three Aaliyahs. I watch Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah J, and then my friend Aaliyah. So anytime I'm watching an Aaliyah, I, I, wow, I didn't realize that. Wow, Aaliyah's face is the only Aaliyah that I've ever. I don't know her, but known that spells their name a l l i y a h oh wait but then Aaliyah, my friend and Aaliyah j spell their names different too because Aaliyah j spells her name a a and then Aaliyah spells her name a l i y a h wow all right so we about to put some turkey bacon on and i'm gonna do a lot because i need a lot when you're eating like lower carb like clearly this is this is bread it has carbs but it's not because it's like my low calorie bread it doesn't pack as much calories in um carbs as like your natural bread so it's very lightweight it'll be just like you did not just eat bread so i try to like overcompensate with my protein so we're gonna go heavy on the bacon y'all if i can make time stand still i need to clean this stove oh so i finished love is blind do we want to talk about it do we want to talk about it real quick, real fast? Well, it probably ain't going to be real quick and real fast, but I'm going to try to make it real quick and real fast. How many strips of bacon should I do? Baby, if you're making a sandwich at home, go all the way. Don't make it like you at the store. Make it make it like you at the house. Let's, I'll start with, I feel like it's really, okay. Let's start with Ramses and Marissa. So, Ramses and Melissa, Marissa, I'm sorry. Their situation really, like, made my heart hurt like just seeing marissa break down and cry the way that she did because i mean i don't know i feel like we all been there we all been hurt ramses is getting a lot of backlash and i don't know that he it's hard for me i don't know how to really explain what i'm trying to say i don't necessarily feel like he necessarily deserves the amount of backlash that he's getting because you know, he didn't see that it was going to work. It, it it wasn't working for him. And he wrote it to her. He wasn't me. He wasn't nasty. And everybody's entitled to that. I think I just have other thoughts about Ramses that I'm not comfortable with saying on my vlog. <laughs> but I think that would be more my issue with him. I just did something. What I think that I won't say. Then the fact that, you know, he broke it off for her because he's entitled to that. But I just felt so bad for Marissa because... For one, I felt like Ramses was talking in circles. Like, he wasn't really being clear-cut about what he meant. And that bothered me because it's like, be straight up about what you feel. Every two seconds, you keep saying like, 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 like. You know how to articulate that. You don't have to keep saying like, 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 like. It's just that you don't really know what to say because you know you're just breaking it off with this girl for whatever your reasons are. When he finally was getting to it, he was basically breaking it off with her because he basically said that, her person was too much. Now, me personally, I feel like Marissa was a super sweet girl. Like, I, I, my discernment is high, and I, and I stand by that. When it was, when I would watch her, I would be like, oh my gosh, she's so sweet, she's so gentle. Like you could tell she genuinely just wanted a situation where she was gonna be marrying the love of her life, and he kind of pulled the rug from under her feet. Not only did he pull the rug from under her feet. He basically made it seem like it was because her personality was too big. Like you get what I'm saying? Like, imagine someone telling you that your person your person is too much for them like you're not enough like you're just too much which would in turn me you're, i don't know that's why my heart broke for her because it was that was more so the basis of what he was saying you get what i'm saying and, and who wants to hear that and she clearly had feelings for him so i felt bad for my boo but ramses has all rights to feel like he wanted to leave out of that situation and i feel like nobody should beat him up about i'm about to cut up my tomato 
It's a little bit dark because I really don't want to cut the light. The lights are always brightening up. You know, clean my, clean your cut, whatever. Anna and what's that other boy name? I forgot his name. I knew from the jump that they weren't going to work out because I could tell that he wasn't going to be into Hannah's look. Now, I don't. I'm not saying that because I feel like Hannah is not attractive. I'm saying that because clearly she's a bigger, a bigger female and she's clearly a bigger female that lost weight. I can always tell when somebody was bigger previously and then lost weight. I can always tell. But even if she wasn't transparent about it, I still would have known. You can literally just tell. But with all that being said, you could tell but oh, Nick, that's his name. You could tell by the way Nick was that he wouldn't have been comfortable with her look, but I feel like he just went along with it because he just wanted to go along with the experiment of the show, if that makes sense. So when it got to the reunion, it came out that, ooh, guys, ooh, ooh. If y'all watched the show, pa pass past this, y'all. Pass past this. I don't want to spoil it for y'all. But when it got to the reunion, it came out that Hannah was saying like, oh, yeah, I heard he had so much to say about my looks. He was underwhelmed is, is what he said. And I think he was calling her. I, honestly, I'm not going to repeat the names that he was calling her because I... I the body shaming stuff, I just, like, I just, I can't. <laughs> like, I, I've said before, it's no space for big bitches in this world. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm saying it in a way of, like, this is how I talk. If y'all watch me enough, y'all know this is how I talk. Has shit to say about her looks or whatever. And it's just, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with not, like, for example, if I'm dating someone, I don't prefer someone that's, like, super, super skinny or slim, right? And that's okay, that's my preference. I like somebody with like a little meat on their bone. Like, yeah, I do. So, but you also don't have to turn and be disrespectful. So like I said, I won't say what he said, but he was saying disrespectful things. The thing that scared me about that was that, about that couple was that Nick really wasn't in it for real to, um, Nick was in it for the wrong reasons. Nick just wanted to be, famous for being on Love is Blind. She literally found a notebook of his stuff that said it. Like, oh, I want to be like, I guess he was doing like writing down goals of things that he wanted. He literally wrote down, she seen it after they broke up. Oh, I want to be the most famous person from Love is Blind. First of all, Love is Blind is not something that you're going to necessarily become famous from. You can gain popularity, but you're not going to become famous from Love is Blind. You're more so going to get traction on, get you a few more followers on Instagram. And have like blog plate pages and shit like that talk about you but you're not coming out of that famous so that's just like a weird thing to wish for but they ended up not getting married because hannah broke off the engagement or whatever i'm just like if these weren't his true feelings at what point like you were gonna go down the aisle with this woman knowing that she wasn't why would you marry someone that you were underwhelmed by physically and i well People, oh. I just thought that that was weird. Did I let my bacon burn? I just thought that that was weird because, and I thought it was scary because I'm like, you're underwhelmed by her looks, but she was about to walk down the aisle with her. The only reason they didn't get married is because Hannah called it off. And I can only imagine how discouraging that is for the cast of the show, the cast going forward and stuff like that. Cause it's just like, this show, this it's an experiment and it's such a brave, courageous thing to do to go on a dating show on national television. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, go searching for love. I burnt my bacon a little bit. Because, I don't know. I like my bacon a little soft. I don't know, y'all. Hold on now. But, yeah, so, you know, it's already a super courageous thing to do. So, to think that somebody would, like, come on this show just for fame or to be known, it's just like, it's so discouraging because how do you know what's real and what's fake? It's already such a vulnerable place to be in. Like, I just say like, cause somebody had asked me like, oh, do you think you could do this show? And I, t I said no for two reasons. One, because I wouldn't want to share these vulnerable moments on national television. Like, I wouldn't want it to be on television. And the second reason is because I don't want to, I feel like the, cause the experiment is date, meet in the pods, 
engaged, honeymoon, live together, marriage. I feel like marriage is such a high, like why does it jump that far up? Especially for somebody like me who doesn't necessarily crave marriage. I'm not against marriage, but I don't crave it or yearn for it, especially with the times we live in. We live in very, very bad times. Like stuff that I know about people's relationships, I just be like, um, I'm good. You know what I mean? And that's not to be shady, but it's just like, people, we live in fucked up times. But back to what I was saying, um, those are the two reasons that I went and do the show. Because I feel like dating in the pods, you're going to really get intimate. You have nothing to go off of. Like, if you're chilling with somebody in person, y'all could be kissing on each other, touching on each other, doing all that. Like, y'all leading with the physical. But being behind those walls, you kind of have no choice but to be intimate. Because it's either going to work, it's either going to hit, or it's not going to hit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to be getting intimate with somebody intimate like in terms of sharing close things like that like sharing things personal things and then i'm being vulnerable with you but i'm also being vulnerable with the world so i think it's just so discouraging for nick and whoever else does it to come on the show on some shit like you just want to be popular like how could you do that so now the last couple ashley and tyler i had previously said that i that was the one couple that i was feeling and i was feeling them but shortly after I was watching the show, after I stated that, I was like, Tyler seems a little bit much. Like, he seems a little bit, like, rehearsed. And so then fast forward, we learned that Tyler has the sperm babies. I still, I still felt, I still like the couple. But the fact that now the full truth has come out and really, so there's three kids, only one is a sperm baby. I went, I, I was on a baby mother page. Only one of the children are a sperm baby, y'all. And yeah it scares me that a person could neglect their children that way and it scares me that a woman would want to be married to a man that would neglect their children that way because i just i, I don't it scares me for the woman that wants to be married for him and it scares me for all parties included because i don't want no parts of that debbie i i, I don't i don't understand all right i'm about to start to eat my food and my sandwich is a bit of a flop because the bacon is just not the way I want it to be, but I was saying, y'all, um, it scares me and it scares the, the it scares me that you would want to be married to a man who would lie about his children and disown them. Because like I said, I went on um I was on the baby mother page and she said that once he left for the show, <clears throat> it was that was just it. And I, that, that really does frighten me because why would you want to be married to a man that don't take care of his children? And, you know, sometimes men kind of need that backing of like that push to go do certain things. And I feel like that's his wife. She should be in his ear like, yo, go get them babies. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. And I'm just the type of person like, I don't want to be around no deadbeats. I don't want, I'm sorry. If you can't do right by your children, there's nothing that you can do for me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Now, because that situation, my sandwich is fucked. Because that situation is so, like, choppy and, like, it's kind of like a crazy situation. I feel like certain things cannot get a pass but be, like, excused. Like, okay, this is very, this is a real great area. Okay, Tyler, let's do this and do that. Let's go get these babies. You know, I just feel like Ashley should be doing that. And behind closed doors, who knows? But the baby mother said that Tyler don't do nothing. Like, ever since the show, it's been over. Oh, my goodness. And I just really don't get that. Because what can he do for you? Like, I know a lot of females be feeling like they're exempt. You're not exempt. He can do the same thing to you when y'all have kids if he can meet another bitch. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's crazy because I feel so bad for his BM because they were actually best friends. So it's kind of like a double heartbreak. Like, damn, my friend. And the father of my children, you know what I'm saying? That part, I, 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 could, I couldn't, I can't respect that. That scares me. That truly scares me, because what the fuck? I'm not gonna hold y'all. Before I had Tyler, I used to date this guy, and he had children. And it was so crazy, because I always said I didn't want to date a man with kids, but I, you know, I dealt with him, and he had kids. And at this time, I was not a mom. And I realized with him that he kind of like played favoritism, if you ask me, or sought out more or reached out more for the children whom belonged to the baby mother that he favored, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
that it, it really used to make me cringe and i really i was not a mom at this point i was not a mom and it used to really make me cringe so it was kind of like you know you got all different forms of the type of fathers that men can be and i remember feeling so uncomfortable about it because like i'm like okay he gonna do this and that for this one do this and that for this one but what about you know what i mean so I had got to the point where I like mustered up the courage to say something, but I was like, let me make sure that I watch how I say it and how I bring it because you never want to offend somebody when it comes to their children. But I did feel like it was my obligation if I'm intimate with you, I'm laying down with you, you know, that I say something because again, what can you do for me if you are not the best or try to be your best to all of your children? And so I said something one day and it was very respectful. It was very gentle. And I felt like even with my approach of being so gentle he was still offended like you could hear it in his voice he didn't necessarily say it to me but i think he was kind of just like you know and i think he also was that way because he i'm almost for certain any other females he was dealing with did not give a fuck about you know how who he was to his children so i think it was like the shock factor of that and i think it was also just like who the fuck she thinks she is say something and it's like i think i'm your girlfriend and i am gonna fucking say something and i was like i said i wasn't nasty i wasn't combative i wasn't mean i, I was questioning like what's the poa with that what's going on like you know what i'm saying because i'm not really comfortable with dealing with someone whom i feel like doesn't you know kick up for all his children and um he, he you know him and i we had a conversation about it and although i think he was slightly offended i think because of the way i approached it because of the nature of our relationship it was very soft and gentle and loving at that point he responded to me in a way that was that although i heard the offense in his voice um but i say all that to say that was just who i was as a girlfriend that was just who i was as just a person figuring it out i didn't have no fucking kids so i just feel like for ashley to be in a situation where she's now married to this man it is your duty it is your obligation to kick up for those children in the ways that your husband has now stopped because prior to fucking with you he was over there cooped up playing house but now that he with you Y'all talking about um, kids and all of that. And it's like, so y'all gonna go have kids over the kids he already got. And y'all not gonna introduce them kids. Like, as a wife, you chose to take that on. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Do I think it's whack that Tyler didn't necessarily present it? I don't know if he presented it in the pods off camera. I don't know when he brought it to her. But I don't think he, he, he mentioned it off top. And I think some people probably was coming down hard on Ashley for her still staying. But I don't think it's I don't think it's nothing wrong with that, especially because the way it was presented was that those were his sperm babies and he did a favor for his best friend, whom she was a lesbian, so it was her and her wife. I I, I, I didn't like that Tyler wasn't all the way honest about it, but I, I felt like if she chooses to stay with her nigga, it's nothing wrong with that. But now in the event that the full truth is coming out and he's literally ostracizing his children and y'all talking about having kids i'm looking at motherfucking sideways i'm looking at everybody sideways child don't no good come from being nasty to no kids now i just got off of the treadmill i got some sweat going i did 35 minutes there i stayed really between 12 and up incline and three and up speed i did a little running which i don't really do running anymore on a treadmill so i'm happy about that but my gym and my crib doesn't have a stairmaster yeah i know i'm really big on a stairmaster so i'm about to do this machine let me show y'all real quick this one i don't know what it's called yeah, I don't know what it's called. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do on this. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where's the start button? How do you start it? Oh, it's on the screen. Let's see, once it picks up. I'm thinking I could do it like 10 or 15 minutes. This says level one, that's not, I don't feel the push enough in that. I just took it to level four. Oh, it doesn't feel bad. I could try this for like 15 minutes. I'm watching this girl on YouTube. I think her name is Mariah. Let me show you her. Hold up. Her vlogs are good. This is her. Alright, so we're back from the gym. 
coffee and then we are headed back out to the amenity room so we can edit. I'm either gonna edit until I have to get pop or edit until I'm done, whatever comes first. Oh, how I've missed you, my brown butter. Sugar-free vanilla. I went very heavy on the brown butter because I felt like maybe it will help take down the, the taste of the Starbucks coffee. I don't know. Let's see. We are now heading to get pop from school. Uh, traffic is backed. It's taking me now 22 minutes. It was just more than this. And his school is like naturally 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, I ended up coming across this podcast. So this is Ashley from season seven of Love is Blind. So I'm just listening. I'm just listening to this as I drive and get pop. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. I'm sure we got some homework, a lot of homework to do. Mommy? Yes. What's your name? My name is Quanisha. What's your name? Tyler Yes. And what's mommy's name? Quanisha. <laughs> yes, that's my name. Maybe one day we'll have the same last name. Maybe. Can I have vessels? Yes. Did you miss me? Yeah. Oh. Mommy. Okay, let's go home. Okay. Ooh. Watch your hand. Okay. I'm super hungry, so I'm about to put my salmon in the oven for my salmon and make my salad because I'm starving at this point in the Celsius and the caffeine is a lot. Get down. I'm about to see Tyler's um, check his bag for homework. Yeah. So here's his homework packet. Oh, so it's not even. Okay. This isn't as intense as I thought it was going to be. So we'll do a few pages of that. Strawberries. Oh, well, I meant to. Like, uh, what y'all think she looks like? <laughs> too classy. She been putting that stuff on for real though. <laughs> no. No. Stay back here. Blueberries. Maybe this way. It's a, it's a whole thing, y'all. It's really a whole thing. The main character. You are your favorite thing in the McDonald's app. I do like Does that this much. As online shopping, save money with the app. Cinnamon for the girls. Honey. Sweet like bee. Can you be my pizza, please? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. So are we going to have breakfast again, dude? Yes. Okay, come on. Here, I pulled that chair off for you. Okay. And these are vitamins. Yes. And juice. Yes. Mommy. Give her my finger back. Give her my finger back. Uh, look at that, my finger off. Wow, people did this. They got cannon. I did like a cannon. Yeah, I was kind of camera out, but I didn't look there. Ain't a dude that ended up finding me a song that you want because I was like, I really want that camera because it had the uh, the beauty filter on. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a different camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. Please, because we saw a lot, and she was like. Dude, you're gonna come back right. 
he got his people before you go in. Niggas be niggas, nigga. Go down here. Tell Jamie, come on. They got their jaws broke. They ain't got no neck. Shoulders is cracked. Oh! Hello, 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 hey, hello, hello, hello. It's a family. It's a party. It's a party. Hey, Bobby, you Spider Man? <laughs> all right, all right. Love you. That's my sister. She and only got my one brother. He took over my phone. She only got one brother. She only got one nephew. One uncle. All right, I love you. Be safe. All right, love you. You're not. Alright, go do what you're doing, you lose it. Yeah, I love you. Taru, shut up. It's a family night. Happy Sunday. Are you vlogging? Oh, the vlog, love when I check in, baby. They was going crazy. I said, Quad, we on the vlog. They said, yo, you was vlogging with your sister. Siki hit me like, yo, oh my God, are you vlogging with your sister? I said, yeah. <laughs> you said, what, Chelly? Yeah. Where they gave? Okay. Okay. Let well, me go get uh, my friend. He just called me. You running over there? Uh, he said he don't want me waiting outside today. Why do you hear that? You're gonna miss me. Good morning guys so i was sitting here like it took me two takes i'm like i'm trying to make sure that i'm focused so basically my camera is to focus on what's directly in front of it and then it blurs out the background there's a lesson in that damn i feel like there was two things that stuck out to me just now <laughs> one being that in that moment but the second one being the dunkin that i just went to there's a starbucks literally right across the street Literally. Man, fuck everything else and just do you. 8.37. Happy Tuesday. I have a hair appointment this morning. I'm actually about to see how far the girl is from me. If you guys watched my vlog when I first moved out here and I went on this whole rant about, you know, finding braiders and stuff. I think I mentioned it. I really, um, at that point, wanted to book with the girl that I'm going to this morning. But she had, I think she was going away. So she couldn't take me on the day that I needed. So um, we were actually texting at the time because I was trying to see if she could squeeze me in. She was trying to accommodate me to take me before her vacation. But I was like, it's just that's just way too early. So I was like, maybe next time. And I just knew, like, next time I wanted to get my hair braided, I was going to try to book with her. So I'm going to her this morning, and I'm so happy. <laughs> so let's see how far she is from me. I went out my way to get Dunkin' this morning because I really wanted a matcha. So I'm trying to find the email so I can see how far I am. Matcha, matcha, matcha. Oh, she's only six minutes from here. Yes, lit. So we could just sit in the car and chill for a little second. Y'all know I like to sit in my car and eat. So it was so funny because I just knew that I wanted Duncan this morning. And I really knew that I wanted to come to this particular location. Because I came here once before. But I was like, damn, I don't know what street that was. I just remembered what it was by. So I was about to go to like... A different Dunkin', but when I drove out there, it was nowhere to park. It was giving very much so, park here, bitch, you gonna get booted. I was like, oh my God. So, I ended up trying to drive around to find somewhere to park. 
driving off, getting lost. So I was like, let me just try to search another Duncan. And I located this one. And I was looking at it on Google. And I'm like, yo, I think that's the Duncan that I went to before. So I just pulled up. And I'm like, yes, this is it. So that was a plus this morning. We basically having a maintenance day. So we getting our hair done. We getting 10 straight backs. Well, I guess it's 10 uh, stitch braids, like 10 feed-ins or whatever. Um, after I get my hair done, I want to go get my eyebrows done because they're looking kind of thick. My skin looks so good. My skin is looking really good. I love it. I washed my hair, deep conditioned it, and blow dried it last night. So it's just like a puff right now. So I have my hat on. My hair grew a lot. Which I know I did a big chop. But uh, what else are we doing maintenance-wise today? Oh, and then... I have a wax appointment for five o'clock so I was trying to tell you before but I, I don't I think I edited it out I found a new wax spot that I want to try and I'm actually kind of like nervous I found myself last night getting a little bit sick so I try to jump in front of it now so I took I took some of that honey onion lime mixture that I told you about I took two tablespoons of it from the time duration of like last night to going into this morning I got my turkey sausage, egg and cheese on a uh, English muffin. Y'all yeah, know, I, this kind of feels like low-key Jersey-ish, like from when I used to get food, um, get Dunkin' and then sit in my car and chat with y'all before work. Yeah, my life be getting a little bit ghetto sometimes, like, <laughs> some real ghetto shit happen. Um... Like yesterday, day before yesterday. I'm not gonna get into detail about it at all, but sometimes I just be like thinking about my life and what it's been based off of people that I've cho chosen to entertain. And I'm like, I deserve so much better than this. But, you know, I don't know. But like my life do be getting ghetto sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some um, some vitamin C today too. To take because I do not want to be sick. I do not, but I like I like low key like feel it, like in here. But oh, y'all know what I wanted to tell y'all? I watched Beauty and Black. I think that's what it's called, the Tyler Perry show on Netflix, the new one. It was very easy to finish because it was only eight episodes. But I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed because like I love Tyler Perry's movies. I used to love Tyler Perry plays. And I know he gets a lot of like backlash or whatever for the type of work that he does, which I don't understand why it's like, it's very weird. I think it's just because he's a black successful man. People just want to find something to, you know, scrutinize him about. But as it pertains to this show, I was shocked about, oh, that's a, what's that? I was shocked about the storyline. I was like... Because, you know, it's like strip club based, like that type of situation. I was like, Tyler Perry with that type of storyline and it's like a series based. Like going into it, I was like, I'm going to give it a chance because I see everybody talking about it. But I, I feel like I don't know. I was kind of doubting it. I was. But I ended up watching it and I was like, oh, this is not bad. Like and then when it got to the end, I was like, oh, shit. Like, OK, Tyler Perry. Like, I think he did for that to not be his type of um niche so to speak like naturally i thought he did a really good job i did that that's my opinion <laughs> i thought he did a good job and the way it ended it definitely needs a part two like another maybe like another four or five episodes i don't know however he wants to do it but it definitely ended where he can you know do more and if he does put out another part i definitely will be watching it because i really think that it was a good job i really really do and yeah another little funny thing um As I was about to go in the Dunkin', there was this guy walking to the door, too. And we were, like, both getting close to the door. And I was kind of, like, trying to walk a little bit faster so I could catch the door and get in before him so that he didn't have to hold the door for me. And I feel like he saw that I was trying to hurry up. So then he tried to, like, hurry up. So I was like, Quenisha, let this man open the door for you. Like, 
So he opened the door for me and I was like, thank you. And then when I was leaving out, I was like, have a good day. And he was like, you too. And then he like, cause he was standing by the door. I guess he was waiting for his food. I had already gotten my order, so I was leaving out, obviously. But he was standing by the door. So he, like, opened the door for me. And I laughed, and I was like, thank you. I was like, when we were coming in, um, I told myself, like, just let this man open the door. And he was like, yes, just let just let a man do. He was like, that's what we're here for. Have a good day. And I was like, thank you so much. He was like an older guy. You could tell he was Caribbean, too. I don't know what type of Caribbean, but I heard his accent. I'm just, like, so used to doing shit by myself. Need to let a man that want to be, be a man. I get what you're saying because I yeah. thought back to that So time. smaller with shorter hair, I always suggest like um, smaller braids mm -hmm. just so that way it will last longer and just be secure. And just really just be worth it for you to get yeah. serviced and it'll actually Down here? Yes, okay. We just did finish my underarm, so we're starting on the Brazilian. You guys will know when the first rip comes. Wait, can you guys believe Tyler's here? Pop is with me. Tell you that story when we get home. One more rip and I'm out. Business card. All right, guys. So our maintenance for today is done. We just got back to the crib. I'm out to wash my hands and uh, take some of the more of this stuff. And I was wait. Oh, and I was drinking some. This is emergency. It's kind of harder for me to drink because it's not cold, but. Come here, take your clothes off. How was school today, good? So yeah, I love my hair and I'm just so excited because I'm very, very particular about my hair. Like she ate down. Look how neat and precise my hair is. No exaggerations, from the time I've left my hair appointment till now, I've gotten about six compliments on my hair. One of them being a child, a little boy, and you know kids don't lie. <laughs> he was like, um, you got some nice hair. I was like, thank you. Mommy, I want snacks. I, I know you do, honey. She did such a beautiful job. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. She left out the perfect amount of baby hairs, because I like, 
I would say like medium amount like I don't like a little bit but I don't like too much and I feel like this is like perfect so that was my first time going to her and I think she's gonna be my set braider that I go to when I get my hair braided which I've been trying to find my braid girl in the A oh this shit stick yo. this shit stick but I'm really trying to jump in front of this sickness yeah write in the comments when you get a brazilian does your wax lady tell you that your skin looks good because this lady just told me that too i really wonder are they just telling me that like like do they just tell their their clients that write in the comments i need a cold bottle of water I want to start doing um, the Aztec clay mask. Do y'all use that or have y'all ever used it? I've never used it before, but I kind of want to try it. Right now, my skin looks really fucking bomb. Like, I love it. See, I usually do a tablespoon. These are teaspoons. Yuck. Think she's gonna be my set braid girl i think we kind of sort of got off to a bad start kind of sort of because she basically was like um she was like oh you're here short because i know i did a, a big chop or whatever i was like oh yeah i did a big chop it's going back so stop pop stop papa so um i didn't i just didn't think that it would be an issue because I've gotten my hair braided three times, two or three times since I've had my cut. And obviously the first few times, hold on y'all. Obviously the first two times I got it or three, however many times it's been, my hair was even, sh and it's not about the top of my hair, it's about the back because that's what was tapered or whatever. So, um, you know, they were able to catch my hair. So. The first time I got my hair done braided, it was by my braid girl from Jersey Bree. I love my girl, I miss her. And I, I basically, you know, I consulted with her first about the length of my hair in the back, and I was like, if you think you can catch it. So I sent her a photo at the time, and she was like, I, she was like, it looks a little short, but I think we should be able to catch it. And so we did. And then the next time I got my hair done by the girl that I went to out here, before I went to her, I sent her pictures and I was like, hey, just wanted to make sure, you know, I booked with you. I just wanted to make sure you would be able to catch the back of my hair. So I sent her a photo. And so by that time, my hair is even longer than what it was when I got it braided the first time. So when I sent it to the second girl out here, and again, by that time my hair is longer, she was like, of course. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I go and get my hair done. And that's that. So from that time, I haven't had my hair, you know, braided in a while. So when I washed and blow dried my hair last night and I saw how much the back grew out, I didn't even feel like I needed to, you know, consult with the new braider because I just felt like I know my hair can be caught. So when I got there, she said that. And then um, she was basically saying, cause when, so when she said it, I was like, oh, cause I've gotten my hair braided, da, da, da. She was like, that's fine, or that's cool, but I forgot what she said. And she wasn't rude, but she was just basically like, I like to give my clients like realistic, you know, ideas or whatever. And being that the back is so short, it can have whatever, whatever it was that she said. And then like toward the end when she was closer to done, she said it again, like, I do wish you had a consultant with me about the length of your hair, da 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 da. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna apologize to you that for that because you're right, like, even though I got my hair done by two other people before, while my hair was shorter in the back, that doesn't mean that she didn't deserve for me to inquire with her too, prior to me um, sitting in her chair. She's right. So I apologize, stop, stop baby. So I apologize to her for that. Stop, stop. But like clearly we got it done or whatever because you know, it looks pretty, 
but she was just saying that she probably would have suggested if I would have consulted with her she probably would have suggested for me to do like a little bit less amount of braids like maybe 12 um, which for me my my lowest that I like to go on my uh, straight backs is 12 and honestly 12 is sometimes sketchy for me like I love 10 braids especially because my face is so full like this is what I'm comfortable with so um i was thinking to book 12 just because then i was like you know what get what you're comfortable with but you know she was just saying like she probably would have suggested that just simply because like being that my hair is shorter in the back the shorter hair is gonna start to like pop out so to speak faster than it would have if the braids were a little bit smaller like you get what i'm saying so when i went to like just for and she's right because when I went to Jamaica, and I had reiterated this to her, but I don't know if she heard me. So when we had retouched the conversation of me consulting with her prior to sitting in her chair, I was like, oh, I don't know if you heard me say earlier because I was basically telling her, like, you know, you're right. Because the first time I got my hair braided while I had my shortcut was when I went to Jamaica. If I'm not mistaken, when me and Aaliyah went to Jamaica. And at that time, I told um, my braid girl, Bree, that I wanted stop eight braids and we had ended up doing seven so I guess because I was in water and my hair was even shorter the braids my real hair was like popping out of the braids way faster than it would have been if I would have still had like my natural um, longer length of hair you get what I'm saying and then on top of it yeah I know when I get my hair braided I get 613 so it's like the shorter hair and the blonde in the back it makes the hairstyle last a little bit shorter for me so she was absolutely right and i apologized to her about not consulting but she was like you know it's fine but she's like you know now we know for next time order i'm like yeah girl because i'm definitely coming back for next time so again i love 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 my hair i so out of those five people that complimented me i gave her instagram out to two people um one lady see me coming out of the nail salon after I got my eyebrows waxed and she was like, who did your hair? Then when I was just picking up pop, this is another one of them, I was like, who did your hair? That shit nice as hell, it's neat as hell. Like, And I'm like, take her Instagram, take her Instagram. Y'all know, I, I don't gatekeep. I, mean, I low key wanted to gatekeep on here. I wasn't gonna throw up her Instagram or whatever, but I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna put it up there, but I ain't want to. Tyler, what's happening? Uh, what's happening now? So I haven't ate since the Dunkin' earlier, so I think that I'm going to, I don't think I am. I'm going to make myself a salad because I made myself a salad the other day and it was so good. And I have just about all the ingredients except for I don't have olives. So what I usually put in my salads, like my favorite ingredients, lettuce, like whatever lettuce you use, cherry tomato or grape tomato, red onion, red onion, it takes your salads to like the next level. It does something to your salad. Not the white or yellow onion, red onion. And then I like to do olives, but I think I ran out of olives. And then the other day I added a little Parmesan cheese and then I mixed creamy Italian. No, 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 I mixed Italian dressing and a little bit of Caesar dressing. And that salad was so good. I got some chicken breast in there seasoned, so I'm gonna put it in the air fryer and I'm gonna sit down and have a salad. I think I'm gonna do some editing for this vlog. And then that's pretty much it. I'm sure Pop got some homework. And we might have a glass of wine too. We might. I don't know. It's crazy because like I haven't really been in a good mood all day. And I was trying to like put my finger on why. I was I think a part of it was I think my period is coming. I told you I don't know what day. I'm usually more on top of that, but whatever. I think my period is coming. There's other things that I'm not gonna press on. Yeah, I know I told y'all like my life get a little ghetto. And my life do get a little ghetto. Why I check my email. Child I got court coming up. The ghetto don't get you no baby mama uh and then my ex passed my ex stop baby i guess today makes it a year since his death and i didn't realize it at first but i knew that it was coming but i didn't realize it at first so when i realized it i'm like maybe that's why my mood is so down or whatever my cousin wrote me my jewel i love my baby and she was like, uh, where's my phone? Let me tell you what she said. 
my jewel i love you jewel she was like i'm sending you a bunch of hugs i thought about you i miss him too Qua. he loved him some you i still got the snap videos on new year's with him and everyone that was at your place so like a few years ago when i got my first apartment we had did like a uh, the New Year's at my crib, like when a ball dropped and stuff, and me and him at that point, I was 23, I think, when I got my first apartment. So I probably was 24 by that point. I was either 23 or 24. And at that point, him and I were in a relationship, and we were doing New Year's at my house, and I remember we had so much fun. Like, we had so much fun. And Jewel was there with her boo at the time. But yeah, here or there, we was all in my crib, we was drinking, they was smoking, y'all know I don't smoke, but it was such a fun time, and she was like, she still got the videos from her Snap. And I think I had videos from Snapchat that night too, but I don't have Snapchat anymore. So, unfortunately, those memories I wouldn't have, but I think it was just a compilation of things just bringing me down. But I did get like, thank you, baby, like a dose of happiness when I picked Pop up from school. And Pop told me he liked my hair too. And he told me he liked my earrings, so. All right, y'all, I'm rambling. We gonna just unwind, okay? All right, all right. I'll call y'all back. Well, I was just straightening up the kitchen a little bit. I'm it's about so to prep, well, yeah, prep my salad, put the chicken in the air fryer, and stop, baby and help Pop with his homework. Right. So y'all, mommy, mommy with me, plan. multitask with me. Mommy life, mommy life, mommy life, mommy life. Mommy life, mommy life, mommy life. What's that Shamor dance? Mommy, Yes. Okay, we're gonna start with the pencil first. Okay, grab your pencil. Okay. It's right there. So you have to circle the picture in each box that is taller. So you have Mommy. this tall. Mom, come sit with me. <laughs> Tyler. Yes. Circle the tall. Mommy's about to cook. Mommy's about to make herself some food. You just ate. Mommy wanna eat? Don't be don't be stunned. I'm sitting right here. Yes. Circle this one. That's the bigger one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually no. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to color it. So pick a crayon. Okay. Just one. Just one. Here, Pop. Pick one. one Here, color one. this. Okay. Go ahead. Good job. And Mommy's going to start making her salad, okay? Yeah. Oh! Okay, I'm on. Okay, now go to the next one. Okay. Circle it and color it. Good job, we're staying in the lines. This is Dari that I was telling you guys about. I done made about six reels, the ones that I said I was gonna make, but I'm off to eat. Good job. Let me finish it out the last Can you circle it? Yes. Okay, now pick a different color. Okay. Looks so pretty. So that should be a tea. Cucumbers. I always put like extra cucumbers in my salad because cucumbers are my fave. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. Tyler, in the next box, you should you, sh you should be writing the um the tea, right? Right here. Go ahead, make the tea. All right, here's my salad. I'm about to add uh, Parmesan cheese. Let me mute. I mean, pause. My eyes are burning from those damn onions. Okay, I see you pop behind me. Go. So, dressing is Italian and creamy Caesar. Too many lights on for me. Way too many fucking lights. And this is lunch slash dinner. Uh oh, I'm about to sit down and edit. 
and Pop is done with homework. You seem like the type of nigga to pay somebody to do it. Last night, getting a little bit sick. No, so, I'm gonna call you about it. Let me count on this. I tried to jump on it now, so I took I took some of that honey, Bye. onion, Talk wine, to you later. make sure that I told you about. I took two tablespoons of it from the time duration of like last night to going into this morning. I got my turkey sausage, egg and cheese on a uh, English muffin. Thumbnails. sitting here editing and i kind of want to keep going but in the same breath y'all my back is fucking killing me my back is on fire my posture is so bad sitting up like this like i'm in the bar stool chair let me see tyler get your ass down okay get down so this is just me like in the chair and this is me trying to like kind of sink my back in whereas like Naturally, I'm kind of like hunching over <laughs> and so it's like really hurting and I'm just to the point where I'm like Tyler put that down Put it down Pick pick that iPad up that I'm about to take and go sit down Thank you oh, It's a fucking gnat right here I'm gonna get it But yeah, it's just it's, it's excruciating So at this point, it's just kind of feeling like torture So what I've decided is that what I'm gonna do is because I pretty much, I got some editing done. I got some done. There is a net. Where did it just go? I don't know. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make tomorrow an editing day 
Once I drop Pablo to school, I'm gonna come back to the crib. I'm gonna go to the gym. And then I'm gonna go to the amenity room and edit up until this point. This way, I'm all up with editing, <laughs> up to current with editing until I start vlogging again. So I think that, hmm. Cause right now I stopped at, I don't know. For me to have done, been so down in the dumps today, I'm proud of what I got done. But I am about to stop right here. I am. And um, so I've been thinking, y'all know how my, I was trying to be on a schedule and post vlogs every Wednesday. So for one, I've been contemplating quitting vlogging, quitting YouTube again. Y'all know I go through this a lot. <laughs> so basically I've been contemplating giving it up because I guess the reasons don't really matter. But then I decided like maybe I want to like lessen how hard I'm going with it and just leave it as a hobby because I do enjoy doing it. But it is a lot of work. So I was thinking about lessening it and just posting just sporadically throughout times of my life. Uh, I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do. But in the event that I do choose to stay consistent and not like give up so to speak. What do you guys think about, I don't think I'm going to post every week anymore, like how I was doing every Wednesday. What do you guys think about me changing my upload days to Tuesdays? Or do you guys like Sundays? Because I had a suggestion from someone and they said they feel like I should do Tuesdays. Because it's like, or did he say Monday? I feel like he probably said Mondays because he was like Sundays could be like your chill days and then it could be like Monday to start the week you posted a vlog. So what are you guys thinking about me switching? Because maybe if I'm not posting every week, maybe I can post like when I do post it's on a Monday. Or do you guys like just bitch post whenever you want to post? Or... Stick to Wednesday, like, you know? Right now, I kinda just been posting when I'ma post. Let me know what y'all think. So, I think this is gonna pretty much conclude the night. I'm about to put me and Pop in a bath, lay him down for bed, because it is now 8.17, and I would like for Pop to be laying down by eight, because he takes forever to fall asleep. So, at least if I get, you know, have him wash up, his night routine, brush his feet, brush his teeth. Uh, he already ate dinner. We did homework. We finished homework. There was like one page we didn't do in its entirety, but we could do it tomorrow. And mama need to lay down. Oh, this is Unc calling me. Yo, Unc. Let me see you got your hair done. I did. his face mask i have to show you guys this little step stool that i ordered from pop that i ordered for pop from amazon for him to like reach the sink or whatever Brush your teeth. Hey, so Come on, stop being silly.
That is like the perfect toast. Just a little bit. Amen. Amen, so, amen. I'm really excited about her. I'm really amen, excited about sister. Her. I haven't even like mixed her all up and tasted oh, her. Oh, give yet. thanks unto the Lord. Because I'm going to be late. And honestly, if I'm being honest, for we're he pushing his time out. Good. So let's go ahead and pray. For he is good. For he is worthy. Worthy. Oh, give thanks. Unto the Lord, for He is good, for He is good. Oh, He is worthy, worthy. Do you do the lettuce or the tomato first? Now this, this should be the one and not the two, poo. This should be the one and not the two. Let's see. If you fancy, slice it this way. That's just if you fancy though. Ow, ow, just bang my, my knee up a little bit. It is, let me take this scarf off cause y'all probably tired of seeing me in my head wrap and baby I got my hair done. So it is 9.42. I don't know if that's focusing. I don't think it is. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I just made myself some breakfast, as you guys can see. This is actually beef bacon. And I decided that out of like beef, turkey, and pork bacon, I definitely feel like beef is my least favorite. I tried it once in the past, and I didn't care for it. And then I tried it again more currently because I was making breakfast for my peoples. <laughs> my peoples. I don't know what to call that boy. But I was making that man. I was making breakfast for him and he doesn't eat pork. So I was like, we could try some beef bacon. And I, I didn't love it then. And I just still don't love it. But this type of sandwich is, is good. I stopped at Publix this morning. Just because I needed some more bread. So I got the, this is the Honey Wheat Nature's Own. This is the same concept as like the low calorie bread that I get. And I'm like, you know, I need some mayo too. And something told me to just look at the calorie count on the mayo. Why is one tape? I don't know. I guess I've never paid it attention before. Or I have and just, I don't know. But I, something told me to just check. And that shit is 100 calories per tablespoon. So if you're thinking about making a sandwich and you somebody that like like extra mayo on your sandwich or something, it's like, that's just, I don't know, that's just so unnecessary, that extra calorie. So I just decided this morning that I'm about to try to cut back on mayo. So to give my sandwich some zhuzh, I was like, I'm going to just use my low calorie butter. So that's what I did. And then I added a little bit of Parmesan cheese, you know, for some moisture. You know, I told you guys last night that, or did I say that? I was gonna go to the amenity room to edit, but after I dropped Pop up to school on my way back, I was like, I don't even wanna sit in the amenity room and edit. Like, it's better for my back, but I kinda just wanna be in a, in a grip. So, it is my goal to just edit up until I gotta get Pop or until I finish. Like, I'm gonna edit up until this point. I was talking to y'all last night about thinking about quitting YouTube and getting discouraged, in which I do be discouraged the majority of the time. Then this morning, I got my YouTube creator newsletter. I've talked to you guys about this and it basically tells you how your channel did last the previous month in terms of your subscribers your your views and the minutes watched so i just got this at 9 a.m this email and it says so i got 13 new subscribers for last month uh 746 views and 69.52 minutes watched now the previous month hold on the 
previous month four new subscribers um, as far as my views I guess last month I got a little bit more views I had 826 but um, oh and my minutes watched were a little higher but the subbies 4 to 13 I think that's good so I can't stress it enough make sure you like comment and subscribe if you fuck with my videos a thousand subbies in a certain amount of watch time i forgot the watch time amount is when i'm able to become monetized so if you fuck with my videos if you fuck with me guys please make sure you subscribe so i just wanted to come and share that i'm about to finish my breakfast and get into editing I'm about to just lock in i'll call y'all back